The best site for a, a silage clamp would be within easy access of the cow housing so that the cows can access the site and back again. Not too narrow passages so there's no log jam, but also easy access for machinery. If it was an exposed site, cows wouldn't want to be facing the uh, prevailing wind. Positioning of the clamp away from the sun and a shelter from the prevailing wind uh, would help the cows when they're uh, off out to feed. All of the areas the cows have access to have to be uh, scraped and so uh, scraping areas uh, should drain to the slurry store and have uh, easy access for uh, scraping equipment. The construction of the clamp is governed by the SAFO regulations, that's the silage, slurry and agricultural fuel oil regulations. And so they are designed to ensure that the structure is, is safe and it is able to collect all of the effluent and liquid drainage from the clamp. But ideally, this would be a solid floor, concrete floor with a good slope um, away from the face. So the construction should be uh, compliant with those uh, regulations. Other construction materials are, are perfectly okay as long as they can withstand the, um, the pressures from the clamp and contain the material, uh, both, the, both the silage itself and any liquid that seeps from it. Volume of the clamp should be um, calculated based on the number of cows and the, their likely intake of silage for the season. Uh, so the volume would need to be calculated for that purpose. Uh, but the width of the clamp, the width of the face, uh, should also take the cow numbers into account. The length of the, the feed face should be around about 225 millimetres per cow, uh, assuming that the cows have 24 hour access. The, the width of face per cow uh, allows the barrier to be moved at a reasonable uh, pace in order that the silage is eaten and there's fresh silage available to the cows. Every situation varies of course, but the, uh, a typical cost for a new clamp, uh, concrete walls, would be about 100 to 120 pounds a tonne per tonne stored, or about 200 to 240 pounds a tonne per square metre.